Good morning, good morning. I am sitting in the parking lot at work. It is very cold. Um, I was listening to the radio and they were talking about this lady that had a 13 year has a 13 year old son and she thought that he had COVID. So she took the son and put him in the trunk of her car and drove him to like a testing site to get him tested. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, I guess some they found out that she had put him in the trunk and um she got charged with a felony and there right now they said there's a warrant out for her arrest and um, that she works for like a school so she's on like leave now i don't know that i would put maddie in a trunk <laughs> i don't think i would do that i mean i get it it's scary but to put the child in a trunk i don't know would you put your kid in a trunk i guess it depends on the kind of trunk you have you know anyway i just thought that was odd anyway good morning i'm gonna go in it's very cold it's partly cloudy uh we we are warm we have hand warmers so anyway it is monday though the mail is probably gonna be really bad but we just have to make it till thursday or friday if i work friday i don't know i might just do that but it'll be a nice weekend because if i do work friday i'll still have friday i'll still have saturday sunday and monday off Exciting part of my day is that I get to start book two of my Nora Roberts book journey. <laughs> I think it's called Of Blood and Bone is the next one. The first one was year one. Anyway, anyway, I hope you have a good day. I need to get in there and see how bad the mail is. It is 6.15 and we're leaving. I called it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry. You can't come to work. No, they didn't even call and say, hey, I'm not coming to work. They just didn't show up. So I'm so sorry. I did my route. Did what I needed to do and I'm gone. I'm done. I gotta stop by John's. Um, so that's where I'm headed now. Eddie and Maddie are on their own for dinner tonight. I will not be cooking anything. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I did what I did what I could. I helped out. Uh, that's it. I'm not sitting out here till seven o'clock at night. I'm not I'm not doing it. Okay. No, thank you. Especially when you give me something that's a drag, which means I got to drive. I got to just, especially when you give me something that's a drag, which means I start at one house and I just drive down. I don't park or anything. I drive and can just get out, get back in, get out down a busy road and the, at night, hell no. I mean, this road, they'll run you, they'll run you over anyway. I'm done. It's 619 and we're going to John's, drop something off, and then I'm gonna go home and take a shower. <sighs> what the hell? I can handle an hour split. Okay, whatever. When you come to me with an hour and a half, like what the hell is wrong with you? I'm so sorry that people can't come to work and our CCAs can't handle it. They're crybabies. And the fact that CCAs leave before regulars, I really, really, you know, when I was a CCA, which wasn't that long ago, and I, I know I always say that, I couldn't go home until I had called every single regular. Are you okay? You need help? You need help? I, I couldn't. And the, there was no CCA leaving before a regular. Like, that's that's supposed to be like a law or something. You know what I mean? So, the fact that I, ju I just got back and there are CCAs hanging out at the station. Like, hell no. I'm sorry. I'm okay. <laughs> it's 620. I'm going to run by John's and then go home. And, you know, it was a good day. For a Monday, it was a good day. I pounded out what I could. I'm so damn sorry. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'll see you at home. I'm coming. <laughs> they say I'm nasty, but I don't give a damn. Getting girls is how I live. I have been home 10 minutes and I have, I came in like a wrecking ball. Okay, like Miley Cyrus. I came in like a wrecking ball. First of all, I went in to say hello to Maddie and you know I just don't know how it happens okay because this weekend the room was clean and then I get in there and I don't understand 
I don't get it. I know teenagers, whatever, no. Keep your room clean, like what the hell? Lord, and I can't find any of my towels anywhere. I don't know where they're at. And I just do laundry. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna take a shower, but first I'm gonna vacuum. I really, really would like someone to tell me what I can do about these. Is it just I need a lot of sleep? That's not gonna happen. Like, am I just like destined to look like this forever? I feel like they've just gotten bad over the last few months and I don't know what to do. How about that? I don't know. I need some kind of cream or some kind of magical. Tell me what to do. Anyway, I'm gonna vacuum. Listen for, you know, what's your legacy? What are you gonna I think that's for Hello. Hello, Benny. How you doing, buddy? He's like, what the hell is going on? I feel haggard. And I know I just said it, and I've said it before, but my eyes, like, are really bothering me. I've always had little bags under my eyes, but just lately I feel like they've gotten really bad. And I don't know why. I don't know. I need a shower. Um, yeah. I don't know. Like, when I get home, especially when it's late and the house is like... It, the house wasn't even destroyed, but it's like that one thing that can set you off, you know? And I just can't. I don't like it. And I feel like that I got this place. It's not a, a mansion or anything. It's not fancy, but it's my little place. I mean, of course, it's Eddie's too, but I want to take care of it. So when I come home and I see crap laying on the ground or, you know... To me, that's kind of like, I don't know, you've got to take care of the place you live in. Or it, it was, I worked kind of, I worked kind of hard to get this place, okay? Uh, it took a lot of money to get in here and, you know what I'm saying? That, to me, it's just like, what? I don't know if that makes any sense, but I just feel like. I just feel like you got to take care of the things you have, no matter how literal, little or big or whatever, fancy or not, that they are. Take care of them. Because somebody, somewhere, has got it worse than you. You know, so you should be thankful for what you have. And being thankful is taking care of your things. <laughs> God. After my shower, I'm going to make a little pizza on that um, flatbread stuff. And that's going to be it. Um, yeah. I don't like getting off this late. I know I'm full of complaints. I'm so sorry. I don't like it. Look at my tree. I put the little ornaments that I got for Christmas on it. Um, I thought that was so sweet. And then my satchel. And then that's Eddie's. And then I just like that flamingo, so. Oh, yeah, and then I got that one, too, on my route. So I just figured I'd keep them up there year-round sunglasses male Christmas tree there you have it and that too there's Benny Benny he loves me I love him he kind of grew on me because at first I was like mm. but I like him he's okay he lets me put clothes on him, so that's a plus. Although I would like to buy him a jacket, you know, like a, a jacket or a sweater, something. I feel like he needs it. There's dogs. You see dogs all the time with jackets and sweaters on. Do they need them? You know, if he was out by himself alone, would he make it? I guess, but I feel like he'd look cute. <laughs> I feel like he'd look cute in a jacket. Anyway, it's time to take a shower, um, so that's what I'm, I'm going to do.
opened these at 8.30 this morning and they are hot. They are still hot. And I wore them all day long. They're still warm. That's pretty good. Hot hands. That's it. It's a wrap. It's 940 and we're going to go lay down. Um, yeah, that was, that's my night. That's all I did when I came home. That's everything you saw. That's what I did. And I ate my little pizza and I edited this vlog. So it'll be up and ready. So hopefully tomorrow won't be like this. Like, gosh, darn it. I don't like, I don't like working this late. I don't like it. I would rather to get the extra hours work on my day off then work an extra hour and a half two hours every day like I don't I don't like it maybe that sounds crazy to some people but I like to get off work come home I like to make a little dinner but come home I like to come home and it's and I'd like to add yes I can make eight on my route and I get done at 430 most days so I feel like sometimes well they know that I get out there I do my route I'm done and they know that. And some people are like, well, you should take your time, Meredith. To, you know, blah, blah. Well, I don't care. Is it my fault that I can get out there and get it done in a timely fashion and go home? I want to go home. So then they're like, oh, well, Meredith can get it done really fast. So let's give her a split. Uh. And I, I, maybe I could slow it down a little bit. I'm not out there breaking my neck. I'm just doing my job and done. Okay. So is that my fault? I don't think so. <laughs> Anyway, I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I just found out, well, I looked it up, and corn is not keto. I'm rusty. Yeah, I feel like I'm very rusty, and hopefully I can lose 10 to 15 pounds. I don't know. So, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm feeling a little frustrated, and I know it's only been a week into this whole thing, and it doesn't happen overnight, but we're going to I know what to do. I know what to eat. I know how to eat. And I've been doing all right, except for the stupid corn. And also my sugar-free uh, Jello puddings, they're out too. I was sitting there eating my pizza and I was looking at them like at the box. And yeah, it's sugar-free, but it has 14 carbs, grams of carbs in one little, one little thing. Anyway, so I it's fine. I'll be all right. We it's we'll work it out. I'm gonna still. I need. I just know myself, and if I continue the way I am or the way I was, because I've been doing better, I will gain all that weight back. And I just I can't do it. I already know I've gained. A, anyway, I'm done. Um, <laughs> I hope you had you've had a good day. I hope you had a good night. I hope you've enjoyed the vlogs. Um. And that's about it. I will talk to you tomorrow. As always, I'll vlog again tomorrow. Bye, everyone.